don't call me if you don't <laughs> All right, I'm just basically pulling out one by one because, you know, it'll be everywhere throughout the week, but the boot camp is coming to, like, the end. Mm -hmm. I just want you to go over, like, your experience, anything you want to share, anything you still want to ask me, you want to go over, do you feel like you learned anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I want to know your honest, like, answer. Um, well, I came down here for the experience, so, like, um, regardless of the, like, the slow days or the fast days, uh, that wasn't, like, it's not, like, a, uh, like, a priority or, like, a importance. I do want to make my money back, but, like, I just came down here for the experience, and that's what I did. Um, and I enjoyed it, um. I enjoyed the girls. Um, I enjoyed all the activities and stuff like that. This was different. It got me out of my comfort zone to like travel by myself. You know, um, what else? I forgot what else you <laughs> Do you feel like I taught you anything? Do you, did you learn anything? Yeah, I got. Um, it's not like you didn't, like, I know that we had a schedule and um, we were supposed to go do different stuff with the classes and stuff. But, like, I did take in a lot of tips that you told me that I'm going to take back with me to my club uh, just to fasten my bag, you know, and get the money faster. So, um, yeah, just little tips in the club and... Um, how we should like go about things and stuff, investments and all that. What's your plan for when you go back home? My plan, um, I'm going to esthetician school. Uh, and basically, I'm just trying to pick up another skill, like how I did stripping. And like just perfect the craft make some money off of it i do um i do want to do something in the beauty industry or whatever so like whether it's hair makeup facials um anything that's essential i just want to do it so i think this like motivated me it gave me like a boost mm -hmm. to like really stop procrastinating and actually do it you know because if i put my mind to invest into like a boot camp I can do the same thing with other stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I just wanted to pull you to the side. We got two more days. We got we working tonight. We working tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And these last two days, I just want you to give it your all. Like, grind. Push yourself to walk around to every customer. Get on the bar. Get on stage. Yeah. Look at it like, walk in there with a good attitude. Like, a positive attitude. You know, just like... Speak, speak good things. Mm hmm Always. Always. Because I don't, I mean, I don't like complainers. When I'm, when, that's why y'all see me, like, adventure off. Because I don't like complainers. I don't like bad energy to affect my energy. Like, when I'm trying to make the best out of something, I just need it, I need that energy to be that. Like, I don't want to be, oh my God, this and the third. Like, I don't want to hear all that. So, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna push myself. Like I'm gonna go hard, go home these last two days. I have no choice but to. So yeah. What I do wanna say though, out of everybody, like out of all the girls, hmm. you was my favorite. Aww. And you was my favorite because you never lost sight of what you was here for. Yeah. Like you was about your money. While we was all like, everybody else was just like bickering. You was in a room like, fuck that shit. I worry about my money like. I'm ready to go to work. And yeah. what I seen, this is just what I seen. Every time we went to work, you was always one of the first ones on the floor. Mm -hmm. You was always one of the ones I seen walk around, get to the money. And I feel like some of the girls probably felt some type of way about you disciplining yourself. But I felt like you were smart for disciplining yourself because at the end of the day, the goal is the money. Oh, so yeah. I really like Yeah, they shit. judge. They um like prejudge me like I was well, I was worried about you, car workers, this, that, and the third, but you just gotta warm up to me. Like I was just observing everybody, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was letting y'all warm up, you know. 
But uh, I don't know. I just be in my own little lane, and it's open for anybody to come in and you know talk or you know vibe or whatever. So, but I'm not with all that. Oh, you mad? I'm gonna be mad too. No, <laughs> I don't think so. So yeah. Well, that's really it. Just make sure you go like. Oh no, the last thing I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> what? Brain? Do you see the reason? Do you get why I was telling y'all what I was telling y'all about the makeup? Um, I get your, I get your perspective. Mm -hmm. I get it, I do, I do get it. With me, um, it's just being, being able to afford, like, afford it, like, I don't like putting my business out like that, but forget it, fuck it. I just, you know, if I'm not profiting, I just want to move smart with my money. I don't want to, yeah. like, get a hundred dollar makeup. You know what I'm saying, and then I got no. I know I gotta pay, pay for a plane ticket. Then same time, I'm in stack mode. Like when I came down here, I wanted to be in stack mode. Didn't want to even touch my money. You know what I'm saying. So it's like, damn. Because when I when I trap, Bree, like I I should have been on the last season. When I trap, I trap. I do my own makeup. I do my own hair. You know what I'm saying. And I know you gotta like have a, like a professional look. You know what I'm saying. Eventually, like like you know be uh, have a professional look like on a Friday or a Saturday or something like that. But uh, yeah, when I'm in when I'm in money mode, I don't be caring about that. <laughs> Cause like I'll be I'll be looking at girls at the club and they be in a bag and they got a chip toe or they look ashy and I'll be like, mm. but I ain't about to lower myself for nothing for nobody. But yeah, I just I just like I don't know. I like picking and choosing what I'm gonna do. Like, yeah, and that's yeah. okay because at the end of the day, we all go our separate and we go home. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm telling y'all like this is how. I this is the way you could do it. That don't mean you have to do it. Right. right. So, yeah. And I do I do get my makeup done. Like, we have, like, at home, we have, like, different, like, uh, events and stuff. Like, different topics for different days. Like, T Tuesday. Or we have birthday events and stuff like that. Like, makeup, investing into yourself is, a, you know, a huge part of trying to make money. Because you got to spend money to make money type shit. So, yeah, I'm I'm all with all that, you know what I'm saying? But if I was in, like, in a better position, I'd get my shit done every day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. When you go there, tell Blossom to come I'm asking you because you last, said last time I heard you said <laughs> yeah, I believe you was getting done tomorrow. Yeah, but you were in the thing when we were talking about it. Now it's so no, it's Saturday, so I feel like you should get your shit done. Even if let me see your face. You see how hers is like it's a light beat, like. Kizzy, can you go lighter than this? I told her. What do you... <laughs> oh, lighter than this? Mm. This is light. You know, like... I mean, kind of... <laughs> so you gonna get it done? It'll just be pretty much powder. Or just... She... Y'all are different skin tones, so it's gonna look different. Like, on you, it's gonna fit you, like, where it don't look like... I just want it to be... I just want it to look like natural. I don't have no makeup on you. <laughs> You look like that yesterday. You got a lot of compliments yesterday. Fuck what a nigga said. Look at what the staff that's said. That's no, listen to me right now. That's Kate, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. This is where I get my money from. That's okay, well, listen. <laughs> if he don't. Sorry, listen to me, babe. You is still, like, young and stuff. And what I like about you is you about your money and you be on your shit. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't tell you some stuff that I see and you that you can like, you know, work on. Because that's what the boot camp is for. Right. You make a lot of money in the club. 
but I want you to work on like work on you like I love how last week you came in with your wig like you started to be more girly cause you and Shoba kind of hand in hand y'all be like boyish like last night the whole freaking club they was eating it up like they was like oh sorry you look so good like not saying you don't look good without the makeup Cause you do, you're a very pretty girl. All y'all is very pretty girls without the makeup. It was very noticeable that y'all was standing out versus the other people. And y'all standing out, y'all was making more money than some of the other girls in the club. And it's like, that's why I'm telling you to get your makeup done. Forget how a guy feel, cause at the end of the day, and I'm not being funny, this is me talking to you friend to friend, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be plenty more guys. These niggas gonna come and go. He's telling you not to get your makeup done. Is he paying for your for you to get a car right now? Don't you need a car? Mm -hmm. So who is he to tell you about your makeup? Is he paying for you to get your own place right now? Yes or no? No. So who is he to tell you about your makeup? Is he gonna give you a band plus tonight? Yes or no? Or that part I don't know. Did he give it to you last night? No. He spent money, but he didn't give. What I'm saying is like niggas don't have their opinion, but at the end of the day. You worry about you. You get your makeup done, it's gonna attract other people, other guys that's gonna give you money. These niggas are always gonna be there, but you, your grind, your hustle, and your plans, what you got working on, like what's your goals and what's your plans that you wanna accomplish? Um, I'm supposed to move in April, hopefully. What's hopefully? Because I, I don't know how to um how the shit gonna go, like my application and shit. Simply because of like the shit that's from my girl and shit like that. So other than that, um, I'm working on a car. I'm probably not going to get a car to my birthday, though, so. Um, why you feel like that? Huh? Why you feel like not until your birthday? Because I already got I already got stuff lined up for the apartment. So, the money for the apartment is really already handled and out the way. So, now I'm just working on a car. But, you know, a car is more than a motherfucker. And then, if I'm going to pay for a car, I feel like, I'm gonna get a car that I actually want and I don't have to worry about it fucking fucking up, breaking down, any of that shit. So that's what I'm trying to save up like enough so I can go ahead, pay the car off, make sure it's straight and I don't have to worry about it. So that's 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 just why I really wanna I'm probably not gonna get it to my birthday. When your birthday? September. I feel like if you listen to me, one of the things like, even before you came to the boot camp, like, when you were telling me, like, oh, Brie, I want to be on the boot camp, because you, you came to me and was like, this is what you want to work on, X, Y, Z. What I need you to do is stop sleeping in all day. Like, you get so much more accomplished. Even though you be in that bitch every day, you be in that bitch Monday through Sunday, grinding, getting your money. But imagine if you just sleep all day and you woke up and figured out, okay, what else am I going to do besides dancing? Like, what show? What's your other goal besides dancing? Like, I want you to wake up every day and instead of just thinking about, oh, I gotta go to work, think about, okay, I know I gotta work tonight, but what do I need to take care of in the daytime? Like, what is it that you wanna do besides dancing? And it's okay to not know right now because you just graduated high school. <laughs> like a year ago, whenever. When was like a year ago? Two years ago. Like, yeah, you fresh out, so it's, you still young as hell. So it's okay, but what if it's something that, you know, you want to do because right now what i see you doing is just a repeat of the same routine go to work go home sleep all day go to work go home sleep all day roll up well i'm trying to start back doing hair but mm, yeah. hair is just really time consuming i i bet it is but guess what you got the time if you wouldn't sleep all day if you wouldn't wake up at six o'clock every day you could be up at least at 10 o'clock and knock out some few clients I'm serious. This is me talking to you like a bigger sister. And I'm not going to say a mom, but I really could say a mom because you're trying to try no. <laughs> But I really want to see you like be on your shit. Okay. I'm going to get my makeup done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm Let me know when you're done. Who's going after you? You. Oh. Um, Blossom, I just want you to like talk to me. Um, the last two days of boot camp, you can hear me. I want you when you go to the club, you five two days, so it's going extra, extra hard. But I feel like you're already going to do that because each day your money count goes up. And it goes dramatic. So 
just talk to me like tell me where your head at all that good stuff what's your experience of it well i guess my experience is good i did learn stuff like yesterday i don't know i just have to apply i, I have to apply a lot of things that i learned and actually do them in the club and that's what i did I, that's what i thought i did yesterday like Saying, so I feel like I had something to prove first of all, and then <laughs> <laughs> for real, because I'm not fucking playing with me. Because <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. But I did. I liked the boot camp. Like it wasn't that bad. Like I liked the girls you picked. Everyone meshed well together. Like we. I don't know. We're learning something. I don't know. I don't know. I just. I just came here for a reason. I accomplished it. I'm happy that I'm still here. I'm happy that I didn't leave. What was your reason? The reason I came here was because I wanted to um, turn this experience into money. Like I wanted when the when my fans, <laughs> when the people start seeing me, like oh yeah, I like her. Like I want to convert them people into my customers into money, and I want to do YouTube and all that stuff. I've been seeing you since. I I ain't really watched you can't swear. I'm not gonna lie. But I've been seeing, I was always watching your um stripper, your stripper accounts and stuff like that. And I was just like, yeah, you really came up for real. Like, it's a way to come up off this. And I'm like, all right, you can't just dance or like keep dancing, spending money. Like, you're smart. And I like, I like how you, how you run shit. You're welcome. No, I'm serious though. You do run shit. Like, I'm older than you, but you, <laughs> you be running, you run good shit. You do. And I'm I'm happy that I'm learning from you. Well, I'm happy that you signed up. You came. Are you gonna like come back? Yeah, I'm coming back, but I don't know about rumors. But why? why? I don't know. I keep telling all the customers, I'm like, I don't know if I'm coming back. They're come back and mm, cause you got a permit. Your permit lasts for a year. I know. I I don't know. I think I might come back. I feel like I probably will now that I kind of like see how to really work the club. Yeah. And remember, you gotta think y'all new to that club, so you just gotta like adjust to the environment. Get used yeah, to exactly. It. I was, that's what I was saying. I was like, I was applying the same thing I already was doing at another club that is not even the same aesthetic. So it was like, yeah. it wasn't working. The only thing was happening is these men wanna be my boyfriend, that's it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's it. So, different. You know, what's your goal for today? My goal for today, I told you my goal yesterday was 5,000. My goal for today is 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had to double it <laughs> for real. It ain't right if you're not delusional. I'm manifesting this money 10,000. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can I use your car to do stuff in there? Yeah, thank you. I gotta go, I gotta get the key. Okay, now, let me you see. gotta get up. Or let me see K because they're gonna want smoke. Uh, thank you guys. You're welcome, thank you. What's up, Saya? Alright, so when you talk, make sure you're looking in the camera, okay? So walk me through yesterday. Okay, so you got your makeup done for the first time ever. How was that experience for you? Girl, it was okay. I mean, I got a lot of compliments, but when I was working, it was just it was just bothering me. I'm not gonna lie, like that was my first time ever having my makeup done, like ever in life. So it's like when I was dancing and shit, and I started to get hot, and I started wiping my face, bitch, the makeup coming up on my hands. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I yeah, it was. But other than that, I I think I look cute. You know, the niggas loved it. That's all that matters. But yeah, it was it was cool. So you getting your makeup done again today? Um, yeah, I'm getting my makeup done again today, but it's going to be something natural, something slight, nothing too crazy like last night. Then I'm going to wait until tomorrow to do all that. Yeah, so I'm going to just do something a little natural and make it look like I don't even got on makeup. So what was you like, what was your reaction when the girls ran out of gas on the way to the club? Bitch, <laughs> this is the crazy part, right? While we in the motherfucking 
while we're in the car leaving this was when we pulled out of the driveway i said trouble how much you want to bet these hoes is gonna run out of motherfucking gas bitch and we're gonna be stuck trouble said who i said bro he and them they are gonna have to go to a gas station and i didn't know no type of gas station that was close by what they do 10 minutes later after i said that shit key and them call y'all we ran out of gas we ran out of gas i said that shit was going to happen i said that shit was going to happen and then look it happened and then look we was late as fuck for work again what's on y'all trying to get to work tonight hopefully well, we're supposed to be to work by five, but it's like three something already. And, and y'all still supposed to go to the uh, exactly. dance store. Exactly, and we're still going to go to the dance store, so we're probably so, not going to make it to work till like seven, eight. So you need to tell them? Yeah, because what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? We know who this bitch is. Black people ain't never on time for shit. Like, okay, so you made your goal last night? Um, Actually, I did make my goal last night. My goal was 500 or more, and I made 560. Period. So I definitely made my goal last night. Period. All right. So tell us about the situation in the locker room. When I got into it, the girl. Basically, I was counting a bag that I had from a section with some other bitches. I had my bag that I made off the stage and from a couple other people that night. It was sitting on the counter on top of my food. I go to the bag, I come back, I'm looking for my bag after we finish counting the money. My bag is gone. All I see is another bag. The bag got way more money in it than I had in mind. So I'm like, all right, am I, I'm not tripping. And I know this is not my clothes that's in this bag. The girl called her friend. She like, oh, she just said this her bag. Um, She just called me. She's calling me right now. She on the phone saying this her bag. She pulls back up to the club. I go outside because I'm like, the fuck? Like, what did I just miss? Mind you, I had like five, six shots yesterday. But that's not the point. Um, I go outside and I'm like, hey, like, you grabbed the wrong bag by accident. Say, so get the fuck out my face, bitch. Hey, hey, don't call. Hey, I ain't never been no thieving ass, bitch. I don't steal. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa. What are you talking about? All I said was... You have my bag. It's sitting right here on your front seat, baby. Like, that's, that's all I'm trying to tell you. No, bitch. Now you got me fucked up. Get out of my face. Blah, blah, blah. So she started getting out of the car. My thing is, bitch, I could have slapped you for talking shit while you was getting out your motherfucking car. But I didn't do that. I let you be. And I, I, I'm i trying to, like, because I'm already rah-rah because I'm all drunk and shit. Two bitches can't be rah-rah. So, bitch, if I'm raw raw, let me be raw raw. You trying to calm me down, bitch. We can't be, no. So, this bitch starts cussing me out again after she looks at the bag. She's like, this bag got my name on it, blah, blah, blah. After that, she picks up the fucking bag and realizes that the shit do not have her fucking name on it. And it had my name on it. Yeah, bitch, I'm sorry, bitch. Yeah, just calling me a bitch. I, I, I didn't know this was your bag, ho. The fuck? Yeah, bitch, all the... So I'm like, bro, bitch, I, you know what I, what I should have did was I should have let her keep that bag and I should have took her bag because, bitch, you had more, way more money in your bag than I did. The fuck? But, yeah, that shit was just crazy. Like, bitches be crazy, like, for nothing. Then how you going to apologize? Not even more so an apology. How you going to cuss me out because you're in the wrong? That shit was weird to me. That shit was really weird to me. But other than that, my night was good. I don't give a fuck what nobody said, bitch. I was drunk as fuck. Bitch, I woke up this morning like I'm never drinking again. Then look, I wake up at three something. Brie got a bottle of motherfucking Casamigo sitting right next to my bed. It's the devil. The devil is talking to me. Okay. So then the situation with you and trouble happened. How did, how did that make you feel? Um, I don't know why. My feelings was kind of hurt by that because, like, I love trouble. Like, trouble's my bitch. Like, me and trouble ain't never got into about shit. Like, every time me and trouble are around each other, it's always shits and giggles. So that's why when she expressed to me that she felt disrespected about the car and all of that, I, I, at first, I was like, man, fuck this bitch. But then I had to think, like, 
me and Trouble A never did this shit before. So I decided to be a big person and apologize and tuck it out and make sure that we on one accord so she know I really didn't mean no harm by that shit. Like, because, bitch, I thought we was just joking around like we always do. But she explained that she had other shit going on and other, uh, like, shit like that. So I was just like, okay. And then we apologized to each other and then that was it. I'm so happy that you guys were able to work it the fuck out. Yeah. 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 What's your goal for tonight? Um, my goal for tonight is a thousand or better. I don't care. It's Saturday, baby. Y'all gotta come spend some. Spend, spend all the tax money you got at this point. I don't even give a fuck. Don't come spend some. Spend all. Like, three, four, however many kids you got, use their tax money too, baby. Yeah, we need it. Sure. You gonna be in the club? We need it. Don't just be around this bitch sitting around because I'm going to kick you out. I'm going to get you kicked out. Tonight is the night, bitch. Tonight is the night. It's Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> If anybody need a slight touch up, let me know. Okay. Uh, Do I look like I need? I need this sprayed, and I have to pay you from yesterday. Yeah, how much was that yesterday? I need. Oh, I'm How much hmm? I owe 20. you? Twenty. 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 Yeah, because I totally. Twenty. Totally <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just want to get this sprayed and stuff. How much that's gonna be? Free. Cool. Just um, out. <laughs> you get that for that. My glass. All right, then we'll do that. I'll send twenty. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to do that. I got you, Pillow. Suck my ass! Okay, roll the window up. What if it was zombies surrounding the car right now? How was y'all at? She rolled your titties. She rolled. She. That was about to be. She rolled your titties. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm touching my own. Yeah. And nipples. Yeah. You got your nipples. Her life. Her life flashed. Good. 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 And I seen it like her life flashed before her eyes. Sorry. That was scary. Like something like that. You see how she got the wing? I just want something slight like that. I don't need nothing major. Kind of forty. Oh no, I thought she said she had some uh, dancer come to talk to us. Yeah. She's about to get the dancers coming. Like, oh, we need to get Yeah. It's supposed to be like a very dance popular dance. dancer. She's supposed to be coming and like talking to us, giving us yeah. Yeah. like how to be like the top notch dancer and stuff like that. Here you go, I don't like this rap. Trying to go with you. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.